You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. There was a time where this show would give men erections. Yeah. Do you remember that? As Matt Paxton once said, I dare you to listen to this show without getting a boner. And now... I dare you to listen to this show without slicing your wrist up. I dare you. <laughs> We've really taken a turn. Jesus Christ. I dare you. <laughs> This is why you suck in bed, the podcast for assholes. I am Dr. Stacy. I am joined with the king of the assholes, Paige. I'm already being interrupted. John, TP, yep. and Henry has decided to stay for the epic mm-hmm. taping. Conclusion. Thanks for staying, Your Highness. Thank you. It's nice to be here. For all of you who listened last week, you will know that we have obtained Frankelfort. Frankelfurt. 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 Also Frankelfurt. known as Frank the Fireman. H. From episode 98. From episode 98, we've, we've obtained the phone number to the firehouse. Thanks, Thanks to Thank you, Jim. Jim. We will be sending you a gift because you, sir, have earned it. And we are now going well, to... I, I don't know. Has he earned it? I mean, the bit, yes. the bit hasn't been gold yet. I don't give a shit. The if that could... phone number is the phone number to the firehouse, right. he's exactly. earned it. Exactly. You said if. He took care of his responsibility. <laughs> yes, he but did. But that could be the phone number for like a Denny's in Phoenix for all we know. Well, if it Which is, will then also Jim, be that'll be funny. That Maybe Jim. the fine people at Denny's in Arizona have a comment about the whole penis Maybe pasta Frank situation. Maybe Frank works at Denny's. Maybe, Maybe they he does supplied know. the pasta. <laughs> Maybe they do. And all I know is Jim has given us a topic because we didn't have one. Have we thanked Jim yet? Because I, <laughs> I haven't gone on my date with the old man yet. Yes. So I can't report back yet. So let's do this thing. Fucking do it. All right. So Henry has volunteered to make the call. I see that you got your screen fixed on your phone. Thank you. Yes. Mm. Thanks for noticing. Of course. I notice everything. <laughs> and the royal gold-plated iPhone. <laughs> You know, like those the uh, black American I Express like, cards? Exactly. He has the gold, the gold iPhone. iPhone. That there's only 10 in the world. Well, I'd exactly. like to know how he got an iPhone 7 already. <laughs> because uh, he's royal. Uh, and we then we have questions for you. Lots of questions. Oh, look at him perk up. For me? Yeah. Oh, yes. Aluminum foil. Hmm? So how does this work? I dial it on my phone? Wait, do you need the uh, whole I need Frank's so, number. So we all have to be completely dead All silent. right, before you make the call, in case the listeners have not heard episode 98. Stop now. <laughs> Stop now. Pause this episode. Go back to episode 98. Can you give like a, a, a two-second rehash so that people like myself knows what's going on? Wait, it won't do so it. So salty because he wasn't on the episode. <laughs> it won't do it justice, but the episode consisted of myself, um, Henry, Paige, TP. Sex Slave at that point was a mere listener fan. That's right. That's she funny. wasn't sex slave yet. We've come so far. I know. And she sent us... Well, and except for her, listeners should stay listeners. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Shit. Do you want to give him like a good rib shot for you right now? Wait, you name it. I will I will hurt uh, him. You just tell me how. I said, except, I said except for her. Didn't he, you hear me put that in? He was insulting someone else. Jesus. Oh. Jesus look. I'll still hit him. <laughs> Easy, Paige. You I supposed to get my back, girl? I just assumed you were making a snarky comment Mother about sex slave. I, I would never make a snarky never. comment, especially okay. since I have my back to I'll just forgive it. All right, back to the subject at hand. Give us the cliff so notes on episode 98. So sex slave sent us an email with an article about a fireman named Frank. Frank was working in a firehouse where people were ha- ma- you know, drawing penises and like thought it was funny. Ha, ha, ha. And there that were is co- funny. There were complaints. And then appa- from what our understanding standing of the article was Frank received a manila envelope <laughs> so instead of containing an- penis shaped pastas and vagina shaped and, and, and on the- and on the vagina 
And on everything the, just went dead. Okay, and on the vaginas was the name Frank. Or on the penises. Some they wrote right with a on the vagina. Uh, well, he wrote on the side of the vagina his name, and at he which point became Frank outraged. Flips. So, <laughs> flips. so instead of sending him like anthrax in an envelope, this he was got much penis, more effective. Penis it was much more effective, and he was he was fired because he complained about. He it. was fired. He was fired because he lost his shit. Well, what did he do when he lost his shit? Did he like strike? He somebody took it to or? the commissioner. He so, kept he kept going to his superiors saying, "Listen, <laughs> and people, he, he people brought, are sending me. Did he bring it? Like he penis." Brought, Penis pasta and vagina pasta. <laughs> Listen, and in, in his retrospect, his bosses essentially laughed at him. I don't know how and he, he got went fired. To their boss, and you know, would say, "Listen, people are sending me penis pasta, <laughs> vagina pasta, writing my name <laughs> how small high did this on, go? The, on the vagina. <laughs> this go to like <laughs> trying Obama? to get my goat, and then even they Obama laugh laughed at him. at him. So everybody laughed at him all the way up the ladder. So he would go to the next rung and say, "Listen, you know, the last five people have all laughed at me because the guys Poor have been Frankfurt. sending me pasta, with penises, <laughs> my name on it." Frankfurter was Frankel being Furt. harassed. In on harassed top, in <laughs> on top Frankel of Furt. Frankel and, Furt. and the reason why this episode, I believe, is the best we've ever done is because... I wasn't on it. We no! <laughs> we could not stop laughing o- over the thought of opening an envelope and shaking out some penis pasta and vagina. And getting enraged. And getting, and getting enraged. enraged. <laughs> and also laughing about his wife's reaction <laughs> to the whole situation. When you listen to the episode, it turns into an entire imaginary scenario. <laughs> <laughs> of a dramatization. What it, what it must be like at Frank's house. And then, of course, TP threw out the shell comment. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> go listen to episode 98. Right now. Pause this. Go back. Go listen to and it. I think Paige peed her pants. I did. Point. I peed. I think I might have shat myself. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. And that it. And then, and I will take it further, is how Sex Slave and TP became... One. one. <laughs> Sex slave supplied the article. Yes. I totally forgot about I that. I just said that, but <gasps> you were probably blacking out. <laughs> <laughs> totally blacking did not click until just and now. She was in a movie with Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, one degree of separation. <laughs> one degree. We promised her a, a prize for the article, and, and we gave her TP. TP said, "I'll deliver it personally." She's cute, just like that. That's how. Oh, we that's call. right. It was the cock rings, <laughs> and he's like, "She's really cute and smart." So, so I'm going to chain her to a wall. <laughs> now she's chained to his wall. <laughs> Congratulations! You are now a wall ornament. <laughs> Congratulations, you win. So now that everybody knows the story behind Frank, Frankwood, we are ready to call the Phoenix Fire Department. So what is the um, goal of this? Hilarity. Kill some time and get Totes. an episode recorded. Yeah. Totes my goats. Let's do it. No, we are all, we, none of us speak. On your best behavior. <laughs> Don't speak. I know just what you're saying. Do I have to plug this into anything? Nope. Good. I love it when men say that. Hey, did you turn off my mic? Oh, no, you didn't. All right. Now, what firehouse did we say he was in? Fire Station 1. One Fire Station 1. i got to get my terminology right. Welcome to the Phoenix Fire Department yeah, Administrative Offices in downtown Phoenix. You are calling a non-emergency number. If you are having an emergency, hang up now and call 911 immediately. These offices are open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you're calling uh, before we fucking missed it. hours, no. please call back during regular business hours. Uh, please leave a message. Listen to the following options. Leave a message. For the fire prevention no. section or special oh, hazard like. unit, <sighs> and all calls regarding fire inspections, lock boxes or knock boxes, fire oh, codes, boxes? permits <laughs> or <laughs> plan <Knox> review, <laughs> fire code, or the fire I'm marshal, about the knock box. please I'm... press 1. The snack packs? <laughs> the tubes? I have a lot of questions about the knock medical records. Fire report. She sounds investigation sexy. Investigation report. The status of record request. Hey, you can turn my mic back up now. Investigation request or question. <laughs> Please dial two. For God's sake, what's a knock spot? For all That's media so and PIO requests. Ooh. Or buck flip information, please dial buff three. Fu- buff fucking. That's what I thought she <laughs> said too. For installation appointment, please dial four. If you're on fire <laughs> while buff fucking, for the community event I want to talk about the knock spot. Fire station buff tours. <laughs> if you catch fire while buff fucking, what number, what number should I hit? I want to present at an event. What if please I hit dial both five. of them. Do I hit one after <laughs> another? Do I hit the buttons in the same time? In order of that I want to talk about them? Do I hit two and seven together? Five, three, four. Seven, three, I don't two, have six. a 27 on my or phone. Sandbag information or to schedule a fire station right along the phone only goes up to nine. Call 602 534 
627. We missed some numbers. Schedule a ride along. <laughs> For fire, human resources, and fire payroll, please call 602 495 Human resources, though. Zero two. Want hired. Doesn't matter. One None of them are in office right now. Recruitment <laughs> opportunity. Right. Oh, cool. Firefighters, they only Wait. work till five. What time is it in Arizona? God damn it, Arizona, with your different time zones, and even though it's earlier and it should have worked out. Fucking well, that recording in itself is pretty entertaining. Fucking Knox boxes. <laughs> Why couldn't you have read Jimbo's shit earlier so we could... <laughs> he sent to us plenty of times. so pissed. Damn it. What do we do now? What do we do now? Now we got to put it off till next episode. Prank calls are always fun. Yeah, you want to order pizzas at someone's house? I got some good addresses no we dick. can use. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got some good addresses. Let's, let's order pizza to Chuck, to Chuck Knox's house. Yes. And watch him shoot them. <gasps> <laughs> okay, dude, I used to do it in high school. I used to order a stack of pies and just send them to people's houses all the time. That was before, like, uh. Um, you got some ideas there, sex life? We should yeah, do it. I have ideas notes. as well. It was before, uh, caller ID and all that good stuff. Yeah. You know? Back in the old rotary phone days. Yeah, it's too bad. All right, well, now we're just going to have to interrogate Henry. There we go. Uh oh. Oh, yes. This. Oh. This bit. <laughs> So, Henry, I have a question. Because or a concern. I, I feel I know you the least well out of everybody at this table. Okay. How many different children do you have by how many different mothers? The ones he knows or doesn't know? Well, obviously the ones he knows about. <laughs> but, was he going to speculate? Like, <laughs> well, why is that important? Because I want to know. She feels that it's going to bring her closer to you. It does. Okay, okay good. We're sharing? We're sharing. Uh, four by three. Four by three? <laughs> Did you know this? Those are the dimensions of my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> kitchen? I thought it was the dimensions of my vagina. <laughs> Very small kitchen. Well done. John, I well, can well see done. It well done. In here. <laughs> <laughs> With the reverb. With the reverb. When are we going to cut an album? <laughs> So fucking talented. That's all of us with his mixing oh, skills. Oh shit! I almost Seriously. Lost it. Oh. That was actually some chorus on your drums. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that was when we went on that Phil Collins uh, oh, tirade. Oh yeah, that's right. Because of amazing. my breakup. Oh, <laughs> speaking of Phil Collins, the the guy that I brought up. We're just cruising we're right past it. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys were dying to grill him, and now you're off. What are you asshole? Four by three. Okay, next. Oh. Stop My question's been answered. Let's sorry. move on. All right, this is the thing, Henry. We don't think you answer anyone's questions ever. <laughs> not only that, you don't show up to fucking tapings. And we get very hurt and upset <sighs> when you're not here. So this is an intervention. And, I, and, and people go home sorts. And, and they cry and they worry about you. <laughs> and, and jerk <laughs> off crying. <laughs> And they jerk <laughs> off with tears. Right, guys? Tears is lube. Right? <laughs> tears is lube. Back me up on this. It's the semen fairy. <laughs> was that the only question? No. <laughs> well, I had more, but that we was, moved on. Right. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Were you at Wimbledon? This year? Yes. Yes. I'd say I, I, Who won? Who that, won? Who won? Yeah, Who that won? wasn't convincing. Who won? That wasn't very... Con- you didn't convince us right there. <sighs> I mean, you... <laughs> You did whichever one he was banging. Yeah, is the one who won. See, when we would call him, you would hear ah, ah, in the background, but I don't think it was the tennis. Why do you not think I, I was at Wimbledon? I think you were, but okay. this one was questioning it. I was questioning it. I don't know. You're a little shady, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So wait, wait, those are the two questions. No, how, many, how many kids did you have? Do you have? Did you go to Wimbledon? <laughs> no, no, more of a statement. <laughs> Hard hitting question. No, there's why are you sucking I, back? I can't, I can't handle any more questions. Like we like to take the- <laughs> this is how we were gonna handle Frank. <laughs> this is how we do it. Alright, okay. What did you do for the future king's birthday? What is your favorite color? Watch out, Oprah. What is We're your favorite form of birth control? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Thank you. I want that one. Wait, I'm, 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 I'm having to answer these questions. Questions. I want that question. What okay. is your quest? <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> what is your favorite color? What is the you airspeed velocity yellow. of an African swallow? <laughs> Why don't you come to tapings? <laughs> 
too far. <laughs> it's too far. You you're so my pudding. That's such bullshit. I because mean, because John comes and TP I and they're come, far. I come all day. <laughs> I'm farther. Yeah, coming from so across what? coming from across the pond in his defense is it's far. It's far. It's far. Let's talk about your birth it's, control. It's okay. bloody far. What's your what's your favorite form of birth control? Obviously, it's pretty good. I think it's pull Obviously out. Not. Three by four Pulling is out generally three by four is pretty low. Three by yeah, four is not very good odds. You know how far he spread his seed? He's worldwide. Have three you, by how four. Many, how many women have you, had se- have you had sex with? Oh, oh, she doesn't come know. On. You okay. can Who has a number? I'd like to know a percentage of. I stopped counting a long time. <laughs> it's not healthy to count. No, it's not. It's not you keep a log, don't lie. It's not healthy. I keep a log. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Where are the kids? Are they in the country? Do you support them? No. Of course you support not. them. Stop. I support their drug habits. <laughs> Will you be her like you give some emotional support. If you were to die tomorrow, would they get anything? Yes. Would you help jerk them off like Paige? Do you have a favorite? Yes. Are you involved with any yes, of the which question? <laughs> <laughs> Are you involved with any of the mothers? One. Still? Mm. One. Monogamously? No. What? One. <laughs> you won't answer that, will Listen you? to Sirio. <laughs> will any we of need the, answers to these questions. Will any of the children inherit your throne? Or are you waiting for a better one to come along? Uh, it's up in the air right now. The favorite is mm. not quite up to par? Such a non-committal answer. Mm. I will come over there and fuck start your head right now. <laughs> Sorry. What brought about this? Because uh, you haven't been around. Session? Okay, you haven't been around. We've, we 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 want to know. Mm-hmm. We wanna know and we were you. talking, and I'm like, you know what? He never fucking answers questions. I don't. You you ask me questions, and I don't answer the questions. Well, like just now, when when uh, Paige asked you the first question, your response was, "Why do you need to know this?" Deflection. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Got it. <laughs> Got it. All right. So now we know know that John Amal has a three drink minimum before the, <laughs> before, start before making sense. words go above six letters. Right. It's good to know. You need to start drinking more. He needs to be satiated. You get smarter when you drink. That's amazing. I told you. I am way cooler when I'm You're drunk. You're a fucking unicorn. He needs like three or four drinks to be satiated. And then I, and then I do a beer unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. It's a shame this is not a video podcast. Yes. I used to uh, do the beer unicorns. We need the all real the time. masks. The masks we have. Are there any other pertinent questions that w- I need to uh, When answer? they come up through the taping, we'll get to okay. Yeah, they're, they're going to come out like Tourette's. I'll Just be, be prepared. I'll we're going to fire didn't them out very well yeah, for okay. this. We were like, we're going to ask them questions. <laughs> so, <laughs> pulling oh. out is your favorite form of birth control? Yes. Okay. My favorite? The Houdini. I mean, you yeah. can't. I guess you can't. You can't categorize. <laughs> I'm not asking you. <laughs> cream pies don't count, right? Cream pies don't count. No, <laughs> that's what got you in this mess. <laughs> well, the buck and broccoli. No. No. Cream pies don't count. Is it a count. vaginal no. cream pie or an anal cream pie? Good, good, good point. Wow. I thought so. Well, I mean, anal cream pie would be considered birth control. Absolutely. So that's is my it, favorite. Is it okay. wrong that the term cream pie makes me hungry? <laughs> no. no, not at all. Me it's too. Delicious. I thought you were going to say Harlem. <laughs> Harlem struggle. Cream pies are delicious. <laughs> Cream pies. Cream pies are fantastic. I would tell you the story about how I had a fantasy. About and I shared it with my ex-boyfriend, who was later my fiance, who I later called the wedding off. Oh, good. It's not me she's talking about. Um, Cream pies. And he fulfilled my fantasy. Wait. Did I ever tell you this story? I'm going to get a drink. I'm you waiting with bated breath. Let's have this. Okay. I told him that... Let me be your fantasy. My fantasy was... <laughs> To be, <laughs> to be, I wanna to be hit in the face with a pie. Oh, I would do that. So on my, bur- oh, you could have said anything Wait. after hit me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been okay with it. <laughs> and all over because <laughs> a, I used to watch wiffle ball bat. <laughs> it could have been a fucking an, coffee an, maker. An it apple, been anything. an axe. I I used to watch <laughs> like fry. TV shows growing up, and like you know, Alice and the Brady Bunch. They throw a pie in her face, and she'd be like. Oh, that was the thing in the 70s. Everyone got pies in the face. Everyone so got a pie in the I face. Wasn't I laughing big on like the... the I think so. Yeah. So I grew up on that and I'm like, what's that feel like? I grew up on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, cream pies. And I Every cream way socials. Goes. Cream pies. And ice cream I grew so. up on cream pies. <laughs> <laughs> so one I thought, day... I thought I had a fucked up cream childhood. Pie. I know. I told him, I said, I've always wanted someone to throw a pie in my face. And he was like, whatever. So a year, maybe two goes by. I don't even know. I forgot that we even had the conversation. (laughs) I didn't. (laughs) Poignant. And it's my birthday. And he comes over and he's like, come out to the car. And I was like, what? He goes, just come out to the car. And he puts a blindfold on me. And we walk out to the car and he opens up the trunk and he murders you. All right. Takes the blindfold off. He goes, keep your eyes closed. And all of a sudden. (laughs) 
<laughs> right in my face. He throws a pie right in my fucking face. But he blindfolded you first? Oh. Because he wanted me to be like confused. And it could have been so much more than that. And uh, it was amazing. And I started hysterically laughing. And I told him I never loved someone so much as you. We wow. made out in the street with Ooh. cream pie. And everywhere. then he cream pie? Then he... <laughs> then he cream pied you. Later. Yes. Much later. later. Much later. After I you, got the you, cream no, pie off you, my... Did you keep it on? No! Like, did he like lick it off your face? No, but I have done it. it on your pussy? No. <laughs> and then I got an infection. <laughs> and then I got a yeast infection. I got a yeast infection. <laughs> it was amazing. And you start smelling like butt down there? <laughs> I know. I, I, oh, I had bread between the legs. Is that, is that from the pie? <laughs> I have bacon biscuits. <laughs> Can I have some of your <laughs> yeast infection bread, please? Bacon bread. Better be gluten free. <laughs> So anyway, that was my fantasy. One of my buddies. Oh, do you? <laughs> now can I go on this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait for it. Are yeast infle- infections <laughs> gluten free? I don't think they can I be. I don't think they can because be. they're yeast based. Right, right, right. I don't so, think they can be gluten free. So, so no, some, uh, if somebody went down on somebody with a yeast <laughs> infection and they had celiac <laughs> disease, they would die. This is a very wow. important question. This is a very important yes. question. What is the answer? It might be different type of yeast. Like, different yeast. Yeah, different I don't care. Yeast. It, it's got to be. I it's, don't it's, care. Do you have to post a disclaimer on your underwear or vagina? <laughs> GMO. Well, no, not GMO. <laughs> Here we go. The G. That's what it is, right? The little G with the circle. Is yeast infection. Because I have an allergy to yeast. So you got to be careful. I can't eat out a chick with a yeast you infection. Be very no, careful. you can't. You got to ask them. I do have an allergy to yeast. Yeah, but excuse, excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> she a tattoo with a G on it. Alex, I'd like cunnilingus for 200 This is crazy. See, this is the time I want Chuck Nuts here, because I think he would have the best answer to this. He'd be like, you just got to go. fucking put a finger down there first, and you Gluten smell free it, and, and if yeast it smells infections. bad, you don't go down there, dude, because don't then you know there's a yeast infection happening. So if you have a fucking yeast allergy, you don't go down there. You smell a bacon, I'm going to something. And then you <laughs> go into the kitchen, you make a make you a fucking sandwich, and then you make it go home. Oh, that's not and then I And then I... I blow the leaves. And then I blow the leaves around the yard. <laughs> I, I, drive, rock, I perfect... drive my neighbor crazy. So somebody find out that answer for us, please. All right. So anyway, ne- on to the next. Um, what were you going to say? You had something to say. The guy that I talked about, that I spoke, I talked about, that I spoke about that um, with the Phil Collins reference a couple episodes ago. <laughs> He he wrote in. He wrote to me on Twitter, and he posed a question for us because we were talking about the earliest memories that we had that we thought was arousing. Mm-hmm. Remember, and you went into something that happened in the Night 50s. Rider and and we were talking greatest about. American hero, Dirty dancing. Right. Yes, the greatest American hero. <laughs> so he, how can we forget? He had a creep pie in his face. He mm-hmm. asked the question. <laughs> If you could set up any threesome between uh, cartoon characters, cartoon characters, and his what about was, wrestlers, <laughs> his was like uh, it was like Betty Rubble, um, interesting, like Chitara and Mister Magoo. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit like wow. that. Wow. So, oh, so you're not involved in the threesome. You no, have to, you're like, not involved. You got to put it together. So Mr. And Magoo it, it with could be Chitara like, It could be like Rebel. two chicks and a dude or two dudes and a chick. Oh, I, I would like this question more if I was involved. Sex Slaves. Well, says you Josie. can you can watch. Sex Slaves says Josie and the Pussycats. Good call. I think that's the amazing. Three, so the, she went. So no dudes, just the three pussycats. Pussy. What if they have yeast infections? <laughs> fine they're feline they don't have yeast allergies i th- i think that's a good question but i think we should do it with non-cartoon characters no do it with cartoon well you did they didn't have cartoons back then <laughs> i just think it'd be more interesting if we did it with real people <laughs> instead of animated people why because they because it'd be hotter cause they couldn't animate the cave wall paintings <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one that laughs at your jokes you're such a page <laughs> wait wait i got it hold on I'm not laughing very stoic. I thought I had it. I'm sorry. I have a voicemail relating to... Wait, first hold on. Corners. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about cartoon threesomes. All right. If I had... To, right, for entertainment purpose, I would take also Flintstones character, Barney Rubble. Whoa. Because I have a feeling that Barney was packing. Because Betty was hot. I think Barney was packing. Hey, oh, Wilma Barney was... Uh, Barney was Smurfette. an unattractive. Wilma Smurfette. was hot. Wilma was hot, too, but I'm talking about Barney. Barney Rubble, Smurfette. Wait, what, Smurfs what, what, didn't have genitals. Not in this fantasy. And uh, I can pull up com like there. Are, there's porn with no, the no, 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 no. Don't you. please. How about we think about? Oh no! All right, <laughs> Barney Rubble. <laughs> <laughs> Barney Rubble. Is this is this drunk threesome? That's what we're gonna call the game. 
Hi, Puff. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. Fucking <laughs> pussies. <laughs> Oh, All right, wait. I'm still thinking. Uh, I'm thinking the Scooby Doo people. Hot Velma. 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 Hot. Thank you. Velma. Bonnie yeah. Rubble. And who is my other one? Fucking Daphne? Velma. Daphne. No. Oh, Velma. We want this to be like an interesting. See, wait, who's hot? Velma or Daphne? Daphne is oh. the redhead, the hot one. But oh, Velma's see, a nerd. I always liked Velma because she was kind of nerdy, and I just envision her having huge tits under that fucking um, mm-hmm. sweater. The sweater. sweater she wore. She played yeah. the uh, mistress on Mad Men. Uh, what was the name of the chick that played? The one her? who played yep. her. In yes, yeah, she yeah. is so hot. Uh, she's gorgeous. She's on Mad Men. Oh, with the huge, yeah, she's huge tits. Boy. She and awesome. she's got a little waist, and Linda she, Cardellini. she's the she neighbor, four, too, right? the married neighbor. Oh, her. She was in Freaks and Geeks. Yes, she yes, was hot. All right. Anyway, that's hey, what I would pick. Scooby Doo people. So anyway, do you want to do emails? Sure. I'm okay. thinking about my cartoon threesome. <laughs> Well, this is a question you can ask Henry, okay? And he'll have to answer. It's time to answer your emails. 978-503 sucks. It's time to answer your emails. 978-503 sucks. 978-503 suck. There's a young man who makes frequent use of that phone number. Hey guys, it's Jake. Oh, it's um, Jake! So on the last episode, y'all were talking about like your childhood sex experiences and stuff like that. Uh, Angel uh, had uh, called in and relayed his uh, uh, first Angel. masturbation tale. <laughs> and the rest of you guys kind of it's followed totally suit. You know, so I thought I'd share a little. Um, I'm like John. I never had access to like, Playboy or anything like that. Um, and this was like long before the days of Pornhub. Uh, though shortly after this period, I discovered, like, file sharing software like Kazaa, which porn, uh, let me tell you, I don't know if y'all had any experience with that shit, but I'm sure some of your listeners did. Um, but anyways, um, I had this tape, this VHS tape. Um, I had a TV and a VCR in my room as early as uh, 10, and, like, I would stay up, like, late on the weekends and watch, like, USA Up All Night, and y'all you know, remember that shit? They would play, like, these terrible horror movies or, like, softcore porn with the nudity blurred out and stuff, and I'd, I'd sit with the remote in one hand and, like, my dick in the other hand and record just the sex scenes. Um, and and uh, eventually my parents got digital cable, and even though they had all the adult stuff locked out, they, they chose 2000 as their numeric password, and I guessed that after like three tries. So I got access to the uncensored stuff. It's still just softcore porn. So somewhere in my box of, of old VHSs is this tape with clip after clip of terrible softcore porn or sex scenes from movies, and I, keep, I think I'm probably going to dig that out and give it a look through. It ought to be a good laugh. Um, and, uh, Paige, you had said that you had a thing for Patrick Swayze when you were a kid. That was, like, the first guy that, you know, got you all riled up. I think mine was Elizabeth Shue, uh, like, from her adventures in babysitting and yes. Karate Kid days. She awesome. was pretty hot. Uh, I think I remember that was probably my first, uh, boner-causing crush as a child. Uh, but that's it. That's all I got. I made it in one take this time. Yay. Good uh, job, peace. Jake. Love you guys. Love the show. That Elizabeth Shue was gorgeous. Back in the day, I liked she her was. a lot. She was so cute. Where she had like she really feathered that? hair, like very puffy. Who's that? Oh. She was in Adventures in Babysitting. Who that? Who that? She then was in. Um, Isn't that the Karate Kids girl? Leaving Las Vegas. Yeah. Karate Kids girl. Mm-hmm. Yep. But wasn't she? She was the hooker with Nicholas Cage. With Nicholas Cage, <sighs> very hot. I disagree with the Smurfette. Yeah. Sorry, I never found her attractive. Because she was always surrounded by so many dudes, she probably got plowed all the time, and she had, I think like, she was selective. She probably had the pussy. She like, did you, not have genitals. <laughs> None of them did. You would make the they puss, wanted you to think that. You would make the pussy face with her. Think so? Yeah, because she got pounded so many times. She's a lesbian. Yes, and I do Didn't know. Did you see Donnie Darko? Yes, I know the the monologue from Donnie Darko, but I think she had reproductive organs, wow. <laughs> and no one else did. Jake, thank you for that. And um, yeah, those late night horror things. You never. You never they had a lot of sex in it. You never said your. Yeah, there was always tits. Yeah. Those. What? You never said you're a cartoon character. I did. I said Scooby Doo people. So Scooby Doo and who? Not Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the ascot. Just one guy to be with the ascot. Fred. Fred. Tell me, fucking Shaggy too. You <laughs> did smoke a blunt. You think no. so? I think Shaggy. No, I think Fred and the two chicks. So Daphne and Velma? Yeah. Come on. You know that's the winner. You, you yeah, exactly. I we think... Can, we can find that porn right now. I think Shaggy was fucking Scooby. I don't want to watch porn. We're, we're trying to do a show. I'm not watching porn. All right. So I have an email. 
Oh, what's you yours? <laughs> you guys, you don't want to just watch porn? No. All right. I'm okay with that. What's, yeah. you, what's yeah. yours? Yeah, what's yours? What's yours, King? You have to answer the questions. Being interrogated. <coughs> Cartoon three-way. Maybe um, like He-Man with uh, Ginger and Marianne from Gilligan's Island. No, they're not cartoon characters. They sure, did make sure a Gilligan they. cartoon. No, <laughs> No, they didn't. It doesn't Loop count. Loop doesn't ball. count. Doesn't count. Sorry. Doesn't count. Actual cartoon characters. Okay. He man counts. Ginger and Marianne. He man counts. He man counts. He now is sp- he? He's well, gonna no, split oh, anyone in Are half. we talking He man or are we talking Prince Adam? Oh, Jesus Lord. Christ. He man. He man. All right, straight up. Didn't I say He man? Because he. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I thought I said Maybe He-Man. you like them in the pink. You know, in the pink getup with the. I'll let you know if I like. Them All right. <laughs> just, just check him. <laughs> oh, Henry, I missed you so much. <sighs> So He Man. Do you like it in the pink? <laughs> That's your question. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to be very, very specific. That's all. Let's pick up on that. Like, I, good I job, mean, Listen, I've always good said job. I need to visualize. I need a full picture. All right. Well, do you like it in the pink? <laughs> Full That's picture. why I was going to be a journalist. <laughs> All right, so go ahead. So we got He Man. <laughs> still thinking. He Man in the full getup. Satiate. He already. Satiate. Now would you th- would you throw in Battle Cat can watch? Battle Cat can watch, but doesn't really count. Right, he's oh not, God, he's just not fucking part. pick it. I'm dying over here. <laughs> what about like an uncomfortable sex scene between <laughs> He Man and Skeletor? I don't Ooh. think like it would be. A, I don't think I want to see them do the Harlem struggle. Yeah, the He Man and Skeletor the struggle doing the Harlem struggle <laughs> with Skeletor <laughs> on the struggling end. Right. Yes, between absolutely. He-Man's okay, legs. good. You can find. Porn comics He Man and Skeletor fucking. So if that gets you going, that's good to know. I'll hook you up with the <laughs> website. <laughs> it does get me going. All right, did you? Pick? And I don't think that would be uncomfortable. I think you Skeletor, want he- Skeletor and He Man. That's a threesome. And me. The- <laughs> hey, Are you God. animated? God. Are you animated somewhere? Okay. My buddy and me. I think Skeletor would take him to Pound Town. Hardcore. Not with that what voice. What depends when he you start the struggle? <laughs> what, exactly. what is the correct starting position for the Harlem struggle? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to take her mouth and no, bury it? I think you have to start with sixty nine. I think you have to grab the receiving end by the back of the head and just right. You have to like you have to trick top. her into it. You have to be like you know it's just sixty nine and she has her head down there and then you and grab then, the back of her then head while lock she's the down there and then you flap the legs up, right. lock them. You lock the legs. Okay, hold so, the head. So and it then you just hold start. on. It's really just a sixty nine until until you, she starts struggling until I you guess. pop until in the she's yes. actually struggling right, right. Then, then it's Harlem then, 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 <laughs> then, then, then you go straight to Harlem exactly Harlem. <laughs> you pop and lock it yep <laughs> right to Harlem <laughs> and then you go right to Harlem <laughs> take a, fast train to Harlem you don't take it to Pound Town you take it to Harlem <laughs> <laughs> are you ready <laughs> do you know what I'm gonna play. he has an owl is this achy breaky heart Harlem Shuffle! Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is the video with the cartoons, ironically enough. The lyrics are really appropriate. No, tell my heart, my achy, freaky heart. Can we lay some gagging and struggling <laughs> over it? This might be the lowest point in the Stones' history <laughs> that they made this song. <laughs> this is a bad song. No, 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 no. Mick Jagger was a song he did with David Bowie. <laughs> the song he did with Bowie, and they, oh, it was uh, dancing oh, in the streets. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, oh, oh and they're both, yeah. And oh, they're, so bad. And, and old Jagger did the video. Was, did this yeah. thing? <laughs> In the background. <laughs> Again, I hate that this is not a video podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you should see my moves. The world would fall in love with Dr. <laughs> Stacy right now. Moves like Jagger. America's like love Jagger. affair with Dr. Stacy. You got to get a new intro. Welcome to the schizophrenic ice cream social on the Riot Cast Network. We're also very critical of music and movies. Like, we're really... No. We're, we're moving away from sex into just pop culture. <laughs> That's all we and how much about. it sucks. All right, so uh, I have an email. Okay. Oh, that's great. Did you have a threesome you wanted to share, Jeff? I never watched cartoons. Okay. I didn't have a TV. You're a fucking liar. I bet you, you <laughs> he was watched, raised in a I box. bet you, you watched fucking like the Muppet Babies all the time. <laughs> Muppet Babies will make your dreams come true. Muppet Babies will make your dreams come true. Muppet 
please, we'll do the same for you. All right. When you are right. kind of weird and you wish that you were there, <laughs> just close your eyes and make believe and you be anywhere. I can't, I can't, I can't. I like adventure. <laughs> I like it. I like jokes. Animal. Do you know what? There was a time where this show would give men erections. Do you remember that? As Matt Paxton once said, I dare you to listen to this show without getting a boner. And now? I dare you to listen to this show without slicing your wrist open. I dare you. Whoa. It's, we've really taken a turn. Jesus Christ. I dare you. I, I feel responsible. No. Sorry. No, it happened sorry, way guys. before you it came along. Way before no, you I came feel along. like I might have been a catalyst here. No. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Oh, I, got, I got him singing way before you came along. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this uh, email is from ND22. Oh, um, it's been a while. <laughs> he Por- said, Porn MD? I just heard of this thing oh, called a C string, and I had to look it up and see what it is. I never knew this was around. I'll attach a picture of one so everyone knows what I'm talking about. I was wondering if anyone on the show had heard of it and if anyone would wear it. Yes, they do make them for guys, too. Thanks for the great show and keep up the great work. All right. You say yes a C, and C no. string? A C string. So It's just like a... Uh, it's less than a G string. Like when they say, do you like seafood? <laughs> And then you go, yeah. And then you go, see, <laughs> 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 Hey, that was in the movie. Oh, what was that with Macaulay Culkin? And then he dies. And, oh. What? <laughs> over the top? Yep. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yep. It was Wait, the one where he's the old oh, picture my girl. of a half naked woman. My girl. And he's bringing up my girl with Macaulay Culkin. My girl. Look at yes. her. Thank she's you. pretty hot. And you are talking about Macaulay Culkin. No, Culkin. She's, she's not pretty hot. She's fucking really hot. Okay. But. Well, let's John talk will about describe my girl. <laughs> but. He was stung by bees. Why don't you sing us a fairy t- uh, bedtime <laughs> that lullaby? Why don't you go sing? John will describe what the sea string is to the listeners. C-string. The black sea string looks like she has a bush. Yeah, that's like the Like it problem. doesn't look like... It should be a color. It's a G string. Or without. a maxi pad. I'm a sunshine. Until I get stung by bees. And everyone gets flaccid. I cried. <laughs> I cried. I read that book in fifth grade. And I cried. Oh. We need to bring Boner back. Come on. We got to sex this thing up. <laughs> this is so bad. We need shirts to say, bring in Boner back. <laughs> bring in Boner back. I'm surprised back. we haven't been fired what, up. What, the guy from Pains? Ryan Cass is like, guys, sorry. We got to let you We back. don't have it. You used to be the sex show. Right. Now you're not doing it anymore. Bring that Boner back. All right. Back. So... The C string is basically, it looks like um, a ladle. It yes, does. Exactly it does. It looks, looks like a ladle. Like. Oh. You stick the ladle handle up your ass, and then you s- the ladle scoops your vagina. And then you it bend it the around. Cubic area. <laughs> or like a spatula that you bent. That yeah. you sat on. To, yes, you sat on it. It's gone up your butt, <laughs> and the spatula part is covering your junk. So my point, why the fuck would you wear that? Basically, if you took a coat hanger and bent it like a U, yeah. and then put it over your vagina. Why would you wear that? You know, the front of it is kind of of sexy if it wasn't black in color but the back just looks retarded it doesn't even really cover much why would you wear that there's got to be an outfit choice that requires that sort of there's undergarment. nothing no uh no what? you might as well just go commando tan lines no tan, tan lines. lines no tan lines are you implying that this is a bathing suit isn't i'm sick it? of tanning my pussy lips. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it a bathing suit i no, hate I that th- my pussy lips are always white i, mean, I need she, a fucking she's wearing a bathing string <laughs> to wear the beige <laughs> She's wearing a baby. My labia is too pale. <laughs> no, she's covering her labia. But like the sides. Barely. You know, the, the legs and shit. The legs and shit. Yes. Those she's are wearing I a mean, bathing suit. But this, okay, so you're wearing this a bit. Then you have a big, blindingly white <laughs> vagina. Okay. Like, that would be like a bullseye right, vagina. Right, exactly. Like, like so it you, makes it easier to find. I don't know. You Shoot some, here. It's like, it's like a cod piece with a hanger attached to it. <laughs> It's. I don't like it, and I'll tell you Wait, right now. You got no tan lines on your ass, and you know, minimal on your vag area. Maybe it's for people who would rather go naked, but because of the fucking laws in the states, you have to cover your vag. Because hmm. these fucking laws, <laughs> stupid laws. Do I still see camel toe from here, or is that just no? My There's no cow. You I see like no. I see no, it looks like it's too rigid. No, toe. that's no. too rigid to have toe. This is rigid. This toe. This how do you think? No it's, how do you think it's holding up? It's, it's probably definitely cardboard, it cardboard has and science. wire hangers. <laughs> There's definitely wire. There's a little flange. There's a little flange. There. There's a little thing sticking. She's just peeing. Back. She's just peeing. She's peeing. Oh, so, how do you pee in that? Do you have to scoop it off? You just go scoop, scoop it off. You just off. pop it off. You go. <laughs> you ladle yeah. it off. 
Can you pee? Yeah, can that. you pee in the ladle and then no. dump it out? No, yeah, you scoop it out. You scoop it out. <laughs> you dump it behind. And then you back. can make a sand cast. <laughs> I think this is an undergarment. I'm not sure this is a. And then you suit. Can, no, I don't think it's a bathing suit. You I think can, it's an undergarment, and I. That's my question. I disagree. Can you imagine wearing this with jeans? No. No, that's what Ow! I'm saying. That's the, not the an only undergarment. way that works if if you stand completely still like the model is. I'm telling you, that's a fucking bikini bottom. That's not a fucking. Are, are bras usually like tied like that? Yeah, that's not lingerie. That's a bikini. That's a fucking. All right, legit. All right, because yeah, there is a male version of that. That's can we wraps see around the side? I want to see the male version. <laughs> We have discussed this already. We have, right? Yeah, yeah. We saw this male version uh, at one uh, point. Anyway, the answer to your question is, I would not wear that. Exactly, because you just <laughs> take a step in the wrong direction, and a pussy lip is popping out. I'm sorry, but that also is not, you have to look like she's the lettuce is falling out of the sandwich. She's like a bodybuilder shape. That. Like her stomach is ridiculous. And do you know how? Do you know how smelly that would be? I mean, that's like. <laughs> That's like worse than a thong. Like that's in the ass crack. That is in the ass crack. How do you wash something like that? You have to have it dry cleaned. You have to take it out and then you can scoop punch with it. I think you just you hit it on the wall. I think you can play highlight with it. Remember that game? Yes, it's a cesta. With the baskets and the. It's like a highlight. It's a cesta. Baton. Yes. Just you fill it with peroxide. The ball comes out at 180 <laughs> miles an hour. Are you putting in Harlem Struggle? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just really wants to say it again. I got excited. I want to hear the music again. Ooh. Oh, look. They come in different colors. So now it looks like you have blue bush. See, that's better than black bush, though. They don't sell... <laughs> this one is triangles <laughs> on <righteous>. it. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad. I didn't mean that. What the fuck is this? This is like a sea string that looks like a bush. It does. It looks like a bush. Because I think she has bush and she has th- this shit over. Really? Is that your professional opinion? That's Yeah. That's what my eyes are telling that's me. That's a V-string. This is the male one. This is riveting if you're listening to this. Oh, Michael, uh, <laughs> Michael Phelps endorses it? I guess is so. Is that Michael Phelps? Of course it is. With the sock over? It looks now, like there a is camel toe. That looks like I could see your ovaries. You know, basically the, don't wear anything. Exactly. I this is so see, weird. I, I could see... Is that... <laughs> Wait, so again, the boys are focused, <laughs> like there's a ton of naked chicks I'm showing them, and they're like really yeah, obsessed the man with version. the dude. No, I'm just looking at Michael Phelps, and I, I don't remember him wearing that at Beijing. <laughs> oh, you, you, were, you, were, you were there. It was so his you third gold. They're obsessed with the men. Yeah. I want to see what I would look like in that. Yeah. Oh, look, there's the C-string without anybody in it. Go yeah, back. let's go oh, back. Go, yeah, go back to that. It looks like a <laughs> jockstrap. Or a stingray. A jock, or- yes. Yeah. It's like a yarmulke. Yeah. A yarmulke. It is kind of a yarmulke with for a your tail? With a red tail. With a pipe with a cleaner tail. coming out. Yeah. Mm. It's, yeah. It's it looks, an eye patch. It's essentially an eye patch for your vagina. That's very good. That's yeah, exactly that's what it is. That's what it is. It's an eye patch for your vagina. Thanks Beautiful. for the email, dude. That's very fa- it's fascinating. Really fascinating. There can we all wear them next time we do masks? <laughs> sure. I think we're going to wear them put to the, the hole. Yeah, put the masks on and the, and <laughs> no, the we'll wear those. Mas- masks. Mask and C-strings. That's fine, but I can't move once it's on because bad things will happen. No, I want to wear it as a mask. Oh, you want to wear it? Oh, okay. I was going to wear it in its like you know, eye, true eye, form. Mouth. Like Bane. The- well, you're going to wear three. You're going to wear three I'm of them? I'm going to wear three of them. I'm wearing three of them. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me because I have C-strings on my face. <laughs> I bet she wasn't expecting this, Batman. And ICT. Nineteen ninety eight. 
Devil without a cause. Awesome. I'm what the you? American badass. <laughs> Watch me kick. You can roll with rock or you can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I think I've covered the whole spectrum of music. I was just in the bathroom and I'm sitting on the toilet and I'm cracking up, sitting on the toilet as like, your urine and just <laughs> tea is like shooting out of me with a force that I am not comfortable I with. It was really disturbing. <laughs> hysterically, hysterically laughing and peeing at the same time is very it's uncomfortable. No, it was weird. <laughs> the best is I don't know. Only men would appreciate this. Is when you are you're pissing in the toilet and you have to sneeze. Oh God! <laughs> and you think your dick is going to explode, <laughs> and it does. You have two choices. You can either try to shut down production immediately. Yes, sneeze. that's usually where I go. <laughs> You have to shut, shut everything it down. down. Shut, it down. shut it down. Sneeze and then start up again. Or you can try to maintain. And then you shut your eyes for one second and you think everything is fine, except you've pissed all over the wall in front of you, all over the toilet. If How often does that happen? That must be very rare, it's though. Not, I mean, if you have allergies, maybe. it's not super not, common. It's not super common, but I mean, over the course of your life, how many times do you sneeze? How many times do you piss? Every now and then it's they scary. intersect, well, and I you're in somebody else's toilet. bathroom. You piss on their on their wall. I, I've peed on the toilet and sneeze at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and mine is more in a controlled environment, so you can just get right, laugh lucky, at it. But, right. but in your situation, yeah, I can see like just like it's like a basket. Oh, you like, yeah. You're done. And <laughs> yeah, the vagina is already pointed downward, so it's exactly. like you, you know, can sneeze away. Yeah. <laughs> when you said controlled environment, I thought you meant like a lab or something, or you were peeing well, exactly. in a cup. I was a variable in a very <laughs> large. That's how she experiment. makes her money. <laughs> exactly. She already to the lab. Pe- penis cup. <laughs> Sleep studies. Pee studies. Penis cup. I have to sneeze, though. <laughs> I might go all over the place. They run. <laughs> See if you can piss in this cup while you sneeze. How do you think she got the startup money for Twisted Toys? <laughs> exactly. Keep, keep your eyes open. <laughs> pee and sneeze. At Listen, look at me. Look at and me, then look masturbate at me, and don't curl your toes. <laughs> By the way, I tried it. I did, too. And it's bullshit. It's bullshit, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Total bullshit. I mean, like I said, I like to tap my toes. <laughs> I do it. However, I do Can it. You sneeze and masturbate. I have a similar. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, that's a scary thing. Too. It's the same thing. You ever sneeze during sex and hurt the person yes. because you contract so hard? Yeah. No, that's never happened to me. Feels good. Wow. Yeah. I hurt somebody. Sneezing. Very, very strong. Very you, strong. Oh, you, my kegels are on point, man. Strong. They're on point. Did you break the penis? Pull this dick I didn't right break off. the penis, but there was definitely. A, uh, I broke penis. I, I broke. It was a submission. Penis. Did he tap out? Was it like the Harlem tap. Struggle? It was not like the Harlem Struggle. You, you know, tapped him it out right If I had like a sneezing fit, like <laughs> 10, 12 seasons in a row, I probably would have severed his penis and he would have died of blood loss. <laughs> I wonder if that ever happened. <laughs> that was a wet one. <laughs> Can I point out something? <laughs> He's laughing more than I've ever seen him laugh. Jeff never laughed. I never knew he that sneezing was so funny to Jeff. Like, I know. I've never seen him laugh it's, 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 it's the combination of the two. It's when the two come together. I'll show you why. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> That's so stupid. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> He's basically, thing. it's a face with a jewel nose. With a jewel, <laughs> <laughs> with a jewel nose. That's our code word. Uh. All right, so I need to point this out because it just came to me. Uh. Last episode, uh. we didn't use any Asian sound effects for the I know, first time. Oh, it's, ups- it's upsetting. Ever. And we so we haven't had any Asian stories, and we've had <sighs> zero bestiality yeah. stories. So the last episode, we might as well erase completely. Yeah, just just don't it. even bother editing. Now. Don't even yeah. post it. Who's going to listen to it? <laughs> Are you sno- snorting? <laughs> <laughs> All the sneezing. You got my nose stuff. That shit though. I cut out when I edit this stuff. Oh, oh you poor Disgusting. bastard. <laughs> All right. It, so it, it's right up there with Callie's. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all the fucking. Was... There's so many more cats around now that. I'm, oh stop! You got them outside. I do it too, but I pull away. Surrounded uh, by pussy. There's two. There I are want two. her to know. I want her to know what I'm going through. Oh, sorry, sorry, buddy. <laughs> there are two cats. Cats in here, cats out there. You know, we don't tape out there. The place. Yeah, it but you, you open the door, it comes in. Oh, shut up! You guys are pussies. Uh, 
All right. So here's the next article. That was your retort. <laughs> Dirt. 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 Wow. You told her. Now, that wasn't ironic, right? It was just coincidence. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right. What are you talking about? Over here's there? the title of the next article. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Kid Rock summoned to produce glass dildo in insane clown posse lawsuit. I'm the American badass. Watch me kick. You can roll with rock or you can suck my dick. You want me to sing some ICP too? I this is that. so bizarre. So Kid Rock has been dragged into the ongoing sexual harassment lawsuit against the insane clown posse because he allegedly owns a key piece of evidence. A glass dildo. We know you know where it is. The country star has two weeks to respond to a subpoena issued by the attorneys who filed a lawsuit against Insane Clown, Clown Posse and its psychopathic records outpost in 2013. Um, blah, 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 blah. This person said that it was a living hell, the sexual harassment. What, it, what happened? If it turns oh. up, the dildo will serve as evidence that Pellegrini's <laughs> colleagues made inappropriate sexual advances. According to court documents, psychopathic employee Dirty Dan Diamond... <laughs> Dirty oh, Dan. Oh. <laughs> Imagine you're in court, okay, <laughs> and they say that sentence, and it's about you. <laughs> you are I an picture, employee of psychopath. I picture a courtroom. Dirty Dan <laughs> Diamond. And I can, picture you, can you state your name for the record, please? Clothing. Dirty Dan can, Diamond. Can you please I mean, state your name, Dirty Dan Diamond? I mean, <laughs> You have, and, you have, and you were employed by psychopath records, and you you work oh, for no. Shags Two Dope and Violent J. <laughs> Is that correct? So, Shags Two Dope, serial killer, axe murder boy, wicked cat peeler. So Dirty Dan apparently offered this girl the sex toy after he saw that she changed her relationship status on Facebook to single. He's a glass so dildo. He's a glass dildo. <laughs> so congratulations for the glass dildo. When she declined the gift, he gave it to Kid Rock. A okay. press release from Pellegrini's lawyers de- disclosed that Wait. Dirty Dan admitted under oath to making lewd comments to Pellegrini, but other reports claim Diamond defended the phallic object by calling it a work of art. So the lawsuit is based on the fact that he gave this girl a dildo? A like, glass. I thought he like fucked her with yeah, it. Like, it wasn't saying. even like... He was just like, bitch, I heard you single. Here's a glass dildo. Yeah. I didn't even offer up his own cock. Right. Like, I, that's not offensive I think, at all. I think it's more involved. It like, has to be. And where does Kid Rock come to play at all this? Because well, he owns he the has evidence. The he was like, he was like, <laughs> like, I'll take it. I'll take he's it. He's like, yo, bro, hide this for me. <laughs> I'll take it. You got a big mansion. Go uh, hide it. I'll have my midget put up my ass. Here, here. No, Dirty he Dan. No, apparently. The, fuck. Did he really? He Jesus Christ. I didn't ago. know. I didn't know. Fuck. Who died? The midget. Oh, yeah. Josie. I didn't know. Josie. Oh, he's long dead. Josie. I'm the J-O-E to the C, ho. Call me Josie. Got more game than Coleco. I'm a freak. Don't call me sick. Three foot nine with a ten foot dick. The ladies pick. I'm a crazy hick. No. All you're right, you're going to join him in a second. All I right. met him before. Here are the details of the sexual harassment case. He didn't have a ten foot dick. Dirty Dan <laughs> <laughs> apparently <laughs> gave it up. two other women in the office vagina tighteners the same day. Pellegrini oh, oh, also oh. reported feeling physically threatened by Violent J's girlfriend, Michelle Rapp, a.k.a. Sugar Slam. I want to know what she looks like. And that she was denied use of psychopathic staff private restrooms, forcing her to use facilities that were often full with naked male <laughs> strangers. So that's some more details of what's going on. It's There's so many holes in this story. It's ridiculous. There's like holes. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> She's hot. Like vagina. There's so many vaginas in the story. <laughs> Sugar slam. So that's the um that's what's going on with such a bullshit story. She's Kid a, Rock. She's a jugger ho. So what if he's like uh I threw it out. I know. I don't know. Uh, Why dildo? would he hold on to a dildo? Oh, there I have my speculations. Dude, I used to fucking love ICP, man. I Back believe that. I believe you. Yep. I totally believe you. Do you guys want to hear about the things that were smuggled in vagina? Yes, please. I think we did a little bit of this at one point, but here's one. This woman was pulled over, arrested for allegedly driving with a suspended license. A female correction officer did a strip search and discovered an unknown object lodged in her crotch. It turns <laughs> out it was a loaded five-shot, four-inch, twenty-two caliber mini revolver in her vagina. Nice. That's right, mine. If you're going to keep it, that's a good place. Is that from Florida? Let's see. Tennessee. Okay, close. You're the only ten I see, babe. Here's a woman in Las Vegas. Duh. She put a customer's thirty-five thousand dollar Rolex into her vagina. Take that! that but you're sense. not you're not going to reach for that one. Wait, are you? Makes sense, she put it there, or it slid off. <laughs> good question. That's what wow. I want to know the truth. That is a good. That question. That should be her defense. Yeah, that's interesting. What? I didn't put. I didn't put. I didn't put it there, Your Honor. He placed it there. He punched me. <laughs> he punched me in the vagina. He punched me all the way in my vagina. This woman is. 
Uh, the ex-wife of Pulitzer Prize-winning author Cormac McCarthy was arrested after allegedly whipping a gun out of her vagina and threatening her boyfriend with it. How do you it? whip a gun out of your vagina? How do you do that in like a, a fluid motion where you just whip it out and cock Don't it? Don't you have to like, oh, pull your it, pants down? Exactly. No, you gotta, like, no. Get in, there. In, the, in the Wild West, that's, yeah. uh, that's how it just no, happened. No, yes, there is was. no whipping they a gun have, out of your vagina. They would have gun duels in the streets like no, that. Yeah. No, no. Like, vagina. I call bullshit. The guys, would, have the guys would have their hands on their sides and the girl would have one hand down their pants and then they would duel at sundown. You never saw twat slingers? <laughs> <laughs> I missed that one. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> it was uh There is no I there is no pulling anything saw, out no, of your vagina. That's, right. that's a real movie. Sharon Stone was in it. Twat slingers, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Clint she Eastwood. was the uh, fastest pussy slinger <laughs> in the West. <laughs> I know. I don't, you don't have to convince me. No, no, no so Paige didn't see it. No, no. Not six shooter. It. I call bullshit. Six shooter, forty four magnum talking. revolver. So this woman was <laughs> accused of bringing a loaded gun into jail inside her vagina and methamphetamine in her asshole. Jesus. <laughs> You got him. Use them. Wow. It's a pack mule. That's amazing. You overpacked. You, this woman had a crack cookie in her vagina. <laughs> a cookie? Wait, what's a, whoa, what exactly is a crack cookie? Is that like... Her name is Portia Gross. Is that what I imagine? <laughs> I imagine a... <laughs> wait a minute. Portia Gross had something in her vagina? A the crack name is cookie. The hell you say. What kind of cookie? Are we talking Oreos, like inside is the crack? Or are we talking like a chocolate chip cookie with crack sprinkled on top? Or like a macaroon? Is it, is it, <laughs> is it baked into the cookie or is it added after the fact? They're calling right, it a crack Is it crack inside cookie. the cookie or is it just like, uh, you know, sprinkled on after it was cooked? Right. Because like a marijuana uh, brownie has it in there. You wouldn't just sprinkle marijuana on top and That'd say, oh, it's a pop brownie. Right. I would imagine crack rock is baked into the cookie batter. The rocks. If I had to get, oh, you got like whole rocks guess. in there instead of chocolate chips. But can you eat chips. crack rock? Like, can you get the I know. same? Are, you, smoked, are you supposed to put right? crack in your ass? Crack in your ass? You smoke crack. You smoke crack. Your ass has crack. But you're, uh, Is this the $10,000 cr- crack party? <laughs> it's crack. Yeah, how do you make a crack You're supposed cookie? to put it in your ass, not no, your you vagina. Don't Hence have the name. To put it in no, your... that's the name. That's You've where the name comes from. What? Hanging out in foreign countries too much. Yeah, I fucking shot a load on a cookie. Mm-hmm. Okie cookie, but I knew that was going to be played. All right, here's a good one. He shrugs. Uh, what's the recipe for a crack cookie? I don't know. You need to move on. Can we on. look this up? <laughs> so an Australian man... I wonder, how do you make really good crack cookies? <laughs> An Australian man who <laughs> publicly shared his experience living with a micro penis <laughs> in an effort to destigmatize the condition has revealed that he mortgaged his house to fund surgery to extend his member. Member. Right, because that's really the only thing important. <laughs> the man ha- is medically known, a medic has a medically known disorder named called micro penis. It's a penis shorter than <laughs> seven oh, centimeters when erect. Well, a mean person came up with that one. Mike. In quotations, share the difficulties that this like micro. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, <laughs> micro. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice fake name, Dick. <laughs> Mr. Mike Rowe. <laughs> Is this Mike Rowe? <laughs> no wonder you have a micro penis. Mr. P. Micro P. He said it affected his confidence and made sex a physical and mental mind feel. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Can't imagine why. Oh, yeah? Dick. Your centimeter oh, long dick was a problem? The surgery. Nice gherkin. <laughs> the, so his first round of surgeries involved lengthening and widening and wasn't successful. The second round, <laughs> the <laughs> ligament regrafted itself onto oh, the dermal oh, fat. Oh. And why, he got why retraction. Bother? What do you oh. think is going to happen? Oh, retraction. Listen, listen. The surgery cost <laughs> him $45,000. Oh, he drew down on his mortgage to pay for it af- oh. after oh. completing a particularly oh. lucrative construction contract. Now he's looking at another 18000 for further <laughs> So not only do you have a microscopic <laughs> penis, you're homeless. Yeah. Now, Congratulations. Now he's hoping to go back to his old size because of the retraction. Oh, uh, man. Can you That's imagine rough. that? I what, been, like, what did he think was going to happen? I want to go back right. to an listen, to a centimeter? Listen, listen, I know you had it rough. You were born with a, a <sighs> penis that was a centimeter long. <laughs> Good news, though. The surgery went well. You have a nine-inch penis now. Congratulations. I know you don't have a house, but you will soon because you have a nine-inch cock. Right. And you got bitches now. You got mad bitches. <laughs> and and you have bitches. You have a good day. The poor bitches, man. He the, might as well turn into a clit. The bitches outside waiting for you. Know you know what I mean? <laughs> you like, might don't as you well think like make it a vagina in that, that point. situation? It's almost like the universe saying you should be a girl. Oh, you certainly sweet. shouldn't be spending your money on making. So it bigger. he should be Michelle Crow. No, think about this. <laughs> 
think about this. <laughs> think about it. Did something go wrong that it's so small that maybe it's a clit? I think it is. Thank you, sex slave. <sighs> She's nodding in agreement. Michelle Crow. Maybe there's something going on there. Maybe it really isn't supposed to be a penis. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just... You possess a clit. <laughs> maybe, maybe his boobs are big enough that they're boobs, too? I don't... I'm just saying that so perhaps we have some stuff going on there that needs to be looked into. Micro penis may not just be micro penis. That just made me really appreciate my penis. That's one to grow on. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a star just like <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kirk Cameron. You oh. are Kirk Cameron. <laughs> Hate All right. Hospital has been sued for amputating a penis during a circumcision. This is <laughs> this is like oh, the Jesus. fifth or sixth time. <laughs> I you, you, I love these. You, stories. Yeah, you gravitate. You have like a sixteenth of an inch piece of skin to like <laughs> remove, and you take the whole dick. Yeah. Maybe it was micro penis. Maybe they couldn't differentiate. An Alabama man went to the hospital for routine of circumcision. <laughs> a man? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. What? <laughs> You just pissed all over the yeah, table. Thank God you're not peeing. <laughs> oh, wait, did you say a, wait, a man? Yeah. For a, a, a man? man? For a routine? Henry's microphone has come off the stand. <laughs> this is serious. It's like Sally. It's like Tom Jones. <laughs> I feel like you can just serenade us. It's unusual. <laughs> to have a circumcision <laughs> as a man. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought a man would go in for a <laughs> It's unusual to me. So I'm Sally Jesse Raphael. Yes. I too took it out of the stand. <laughs> Where are my glasses? I'm into this. Wait, Hold so on. it was he, a man, a man <laughs> went in for a routine circumcision. That's yes. what it says. Yes. A man did. <laughs> Man. Because I know so many men who have gone in for circumcision. Listen to this. Wait, so it wasn't at birth? <laughs> and he has like, a, like an adult circumcision? And he has a wife. Hey, listen, he wanted to shop around and get the right guy, and obviously he did. Yeah, it's not something you want to rush into. All but. right, so Johnny Lee Banks Jr. Hey. And his wife Zelda. <laughs> Zelda? <laughs> Zelda. I'm going out to get circumcised. We'll be right back. Hey, Big Z. I'm going out. <laughs> Zelda, we hey, put Z. you on pause. Z, I'll be right back. <laughs> The suit alleges the man's penis was gone when he awoke. <laughs> Just gone. <laughs> Just oh fuck. Oops. Sorry. He should give it to micro penis. So they they took it and gave it to micro. Did you did you check it in because it was a very Robin Hood move. What did yes. it? What did it look like? I mean, I have your watch, I have your ring, but you didn't check in a penis. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> jump out of Manila. Are you, sh- of are you sure you left yeah, it Yeah, there was no penis in here. In here. What you- was the last time you saw it? Did you check your jeans? <laughs> when did you see it? Are check you sure pocket. you brought it with no, you? No, honestly, just do, just do me a favor. Just, <laughs> when was the last time you saw L- it? Let's retrace your steps. Listen, I'm, I, listen just do me a favor. Where where do you remember <laughs> where were you seeing today? it? <laughs> That's a good idea. Do you, do you have a chip <laughs> in your penis? <laughs> were you home? Do you remember seeing it at your house? I'm trying to think. Last time I saw it. Were you at home? Just oh, fuck, I don't walk know. back with me. Do you remember going to the bathroom? Yes. Okay, where were you? I was sitting legs up on my squatty potty. <laughs> okay, and you had your penis when you were there. I think, but it was between my legs, so maybe it wasn't there. I mean, I was shitting. Okay, you were just shitting. Maybe it fell in the toilet. Uh. Wait, you were just shitting. You don't. T- you don't. You don't piss a little. I wasn't bit peeing at all. Not at all. Not at all. You were there just <laughs> to shit. <laughs> just to shit. So you don't know if you had your penis. I don't know. Shit. You made a good point. I'm sorry. I won't sue the the hospital. Well, you can't sue them. All right. Well, I was. So what are they circumcised? I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> Hi. Do you remember the last time before <laughs> that that you saw your penis? <laughs> the microphones came off the stands. <laughs> it's just it's mayhem. <laughs> mayhem. <laughs> Bananas. All right, so I'm going to move on now. Are we over it? This poor man has no penis. And he's claiming claiming that his wife wife is suffering. That's a clip. I just want him to retrace his steps. I know. This poor man has no penis. So that would be your cross-examination? If if you were like, if you had this guy on the stand and you were defending the hospital, you would be like, so where'd you leave? Like, you would just pretend he just lost it. Well, I I would take... It would be like the the touch I would have to take him through the paces. I mean, I don't think that he he probably... Probably didn't walk into the hospital holding it. Right. I so mean, right, it could be anywhere. So I mean, we could check the cameras. <laughs> if he d- if he did happen to walk into the hospital holding his dick, <laughs> we could say that you knew walking in that you owned it and right. you had it with you. It was in your possession. Right. Would he have to but sign it in? Hypothetically, I mean, he could walk into the hospital if he's not holding his dick w- and he's wearing clothes. We can't tell that he even had it when he entered it. The hospital to begin with. And the doctors will confirm that he didn't have a dick. You're going to believe the with. guy that he had a dick when he walked into the <laughs> Why hospital? Why are you interrogating me? Like, I'm calling <laughs> Well, you're looking this. at me like I'm making, you know, like I'm not making any I'm not sense. You're silently you. judging him. I'm looking at Stacy. <laughs> right. Hoping that she you're fucking both. changes he, the subject. He's feeling judged. I think because he has no dick. 
<laughs> and I don't know where it is. He's being very defensive. <laughs> I don't know where I lost it. He has, he has a detachable penis. So he's saying, all right, so I have a friend right, that went to the hospital. So many and people like to blame other people. Again. People like to blame other people for their issues. Detachable he never penis. had a dick. You don't just lose it. Slap me with your penis. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to, I have this map and it's called Vaguely Rude Place Names of the World. So they're per- get ready. So they're perverted names of places all over the world. I'm so into this. I know it's really going to be fun. Is this a game of some sort? No, it's just a map. And so I'll start with Wanky Zimbabwe. Wanky Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. There's a, a tampon in a place what? called Reunion, a little <laughs> island off the coast of Africa. <laughs> it's a tampon Reunion. These are real places. Yeah, these are real places. There's a place called Vagina in Russia. <laughs> I think I knew that. There is a place called Long Dong Avenue in China. Long Dong? <laughs> there it is! Ah! Um, automobile? <laughs> they love dick. <laughs> they love dick. Love Wang. Dick. They love it. <laughs> they have that big parade every year celebrating dick. Like oh, they the love it. With the, the dick I thought that was lollies. Japan. That is Japan. My, all right. Oh, now we're close. We're splitting hairs <laughs> now. They. See that? I'm the culturally sensitive one at I the table. Every, well, like, I have a Japanese one for you. We are not Chinese. <laughs> Let's just pretend I didn't. It's a Japanese we study. Penis. I'm still trying to like dial back from the Jew comet two episodes ago. A jewel? You mean no, jewel? Jewel, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the singer. Yeah. Yeah, I know. What did you think I was talking about? All right, about? so in Japan, they have a Mount Asshole. Mount <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> 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 We throw you in the Mount Asshole. They have a kinky university. Mm-hmm. There's a dong in China. Of course there is. <laughs> there are multiple. There's a rim in Thailand. <laughs> in Job City. There's a dong rack in Thailand. Let's is that like Iraq? But There's a, <laughs> yes, exactly. Semen in Indonesia. Semen. Semen. Um, West Semen. Mid Intercourse Semen. Island. Semen. Semen. <laughs> Cockburn. Semen. Cockburn. Semen. Iron knob in Australia. Iron. Iron knob? Blow hard in Australia. Uh-huh. Spanker knob. What a knob. Shag point. Can't we all just talk in like Chinese voices instead <laughs> of doing this? There's a tit in Algeria. Tit. Mm-hmm. Tit. There's a... Um, Automobile? <laughs> There's a shit in Iran. Oh, sexy girlfriend. <laughs> There's a slut in Sweden. Thank you. Slap my poos. <laughs> and there she is. That was fast. That was so fast. There's a meat cove in Canada. Oh, the old meat cove. There's a spread That's eagle. That's a good one. I, I like meat cove. I'm going to start calling vaginas meat coves. Oh, yeah, baby. Show me your meat cove. You Can I put it in thing. your meat cove? Ew. Show me that meat cove. I'm gonna, I'm gonna park it in your meat locker. <laughs> Cove. Cove. I think of dolphins. Why? Because there's a documentary, The Cove. <laughs> that I won't watch because I know it'll make me cry. To know the dolphin, you have to talk like the dolphin. <laughs> Do it again. The dolphin, he said. <laughs> It doesn't even sound like a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> that does. Sounds just like his English accent. What about him? What about me? Is that your Japanese accent? <laughs> no, that was from... It's kind of German. It was Japanese know. French. It's from, <laughs> it was more, it's from it Ace Ventura. French. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that was the Miko. That's what it sounds like to be in my Miko. I was lost in the Miko. <laughs> just, just, hello. No, no. Just sit and float. I'm float just, on your back. And, I got my hands coat. on the walls, and it's like, quick, 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 quick. Just float on your back. Can we go back into the Miko for a second? <laughs> I just want to float around in the Miko for a while. Uh, uh, Join me, just lie, lie back. Oh. But I can't find my way out. Uh, look There's all the no way up. Look at the ceiling. Look up there. Look at the cave. <laughs> There's no light in the me cove. You see the bats up there? I see those two tubes up there, but they look like the bats. I can't even see where this thing How's goes. How's the viscosity? Oh no, she's oh. egging. She's egging. <laughs> the ceiling's dripping. <laughs> this is the new ride at Six Flags Great Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Come visit the Meat Cove. A 
avoid the eggs. <laughs> avoid the eggs. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So fucking creepy! It is, it is creepy. so creepy. It's just I like don't... the small world ride. It... <laughs> Except, Except creepy it's, and it's sexual. Crabs. <laughs> crabs and eggs. Oh, it's creepy. I'm taking my headphones off. I don't want to think about my vagina that way. <laughs> I'm scarred for life. That's what that's what my penis goes through every oh. time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go swim over there. You you imagine doing push-ups oh. in that? God, there's a spread eagle in Canada, and there's a cum in Ireland. <laughs> All right, we're done with this bit. <laughs> Moving on. There's a cum in Ireland. <laughs> Did you bit, hear me? This bit stunk it up. Next one. <laughs> I brought you Meekov, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Why don't yeah. you just throw it me? Suck it. Meekov made up for everything. We'll ne- go back into the Meekov while you figure out what we're going to do next. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to spend like 30 seconds in the meat cove. No. You figure out no. what we're going to do. What we're going to do right now is what you sent to me, even though I was one step ahead of you. The spreadsheet mm-hmm. about, have you heard this made national news? Oh, the uh, the guy who made the spreadsheet about his wife? A man emailed his wife a spreadsheet that logged all the times she'd said no to sex. Uh-oh. Days of the week, and then uh-huh. yes, uh, but it said uh-huh. yes next to a lot of them. So it said... Date, and then it right. was sex, yes or no, right? Yeah. And the excuse. So I'll tell you some oh, of the excuses. Oh, Jesus, seriously? Like, no shit. Like, over how much, like, how much of a period of time? Since June 1st, so I guess over a month. There were a lot of yeses, though, in her defense. Like, there was a decent number of yeses. So the excuses were, I'm watching the show. And he puts in parentheses, a Friends rerun. I feel sweaty, and then the next day. I feel sweaty and gross, I need a shower. Parentheses, didn't shower until the next morning. Oh, and I hate that when a girl... The next oh. time, it was no, but it was a nonverbal no. The next time, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Wait, what's a nonverbal no? <laughs> like a big, like, middle <laughs> finger, maybe? Like she throws something at him? Yeah. Kick in the dick. No entrance sign at the meat cove. <laughs> no it. Um, a chain in front of... Then she said yes. And then the next day she said, I'm still a bit tender from yesterday. And then the next... I never tried that excuse. Uh-huh. And then the next day she was a nonverbal. And then the next day was, I'm trying to watch the movie. And he said she fell asleep 15 minutes later. The next day, I'm too drunk and I ate too much. The next day, I won't have time to get showered and ready for dinner. Then he wrote, we were 20 minutes early. The next day, I just came back from the gym. I feel gross. Again, didn't shower till the next morning. Oh, God. You, she went to bed without showering after the sh- That's gym? what you find disturbing about this? That's fucking disgusting, dude. <laughs> You, the worst part is that she you, marinated you, in her you, own sweat. And you girls come up with excuses like, I don't want to get my hair wet. Fucking shower, you dirty skank. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. God damn it. <laughs> You're so scarred from your past relationships. That really, that really hit home right there. <laughs> that was very Sorry. specific, too. I might I, the blank canvas he's projecting I'm onto. Checking. We represent... All of those the bitches. All of the lollipop The skanks. Kids. All the skanks. Listen, I have a sensitive nose. <laughs> you are the lollipop. I pick, I, up, I pick up odors. Yeah. Odors. Pretty easily. I pick up odors. <laughs> There's a lot of surface area to pick so up odors. So she said, so 17 days after having sex, she had sex with him again. And then the next time it was, you're too drunk. Then it was, I feel gross. I'm not feeling good. I ate too much. I'm sweaty and gross. I'm tired. Then another nonverbal. I might be getting sick. I still don't feel 100%. I need a shower. I feel gross. I'm too tired. Then she had sex with him again. Again. Then it was a no. And then it was Just nonverbal. No. Then it was I'm watching my show. I don't want to miss anything. So she's uh, recycling the same like six or seven. Are they married? Over are they and over and over again in a committed relationship? Yes. Yes. Are they yes. okay? So he sent it to her, and she has tried calling and texting him since receiving the spreadsheet to no avail. Are they or how old? It does it say anything about ages or anything? Have they been married a long time? He was traveling to the airport for a ten day work trip. Well, that's fucking hilarious. I would share that with my. That's not cool. Not You're a, a douche. You shouldn't. You shouldn't email it to your fucking wife. So then now the original. <laughs> you're never going to get that was the mistake. Yeah. This was a Reddit post, and it's now been deleted. So we don't really know where the couple stands. I feel sad for her. Sad for her. I don't feel sad for <laughs> her. I kind of feel sad for both of them. Well, yeah, but he made it public, which is kind of embarrassing. That was a mistake. Did he mean to make it public, or Probably. did he mean to just send it to and the I, friends? I bet you she's more. And then she made it public because I think now she's like, well, fuck it. Everyone knows anyway. I bet you. She's now I'm going to show everyone what a dick he is. She's like, well, fuck. He's got micro penis, and I have to. She should have said that. Here we go. Here <laughs> right, we go. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately you go after the. Dick Here stuff. we go. And that's why my friend with the putting in in the ass. Yeah, I have a small dick. I fucked you in the 
penis. Because <laughs> you girls are vindictive and go right for penis size. How does that apply? What the Dick- fuck? Are you oh, that's about? his. Co- that's his comeback that he thinks is like the no, P-O-L-N-O. no. It wasn't mine. It wasn't mine. It was your buddy, but you think it's awesome. I'm, I think it's funny as hell. But I'm not a big putting it in the ass guy. But I bet you she was more embarrassed about the number of times she did not shower than anything else. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Good point. As as it's an not adult, that she didn't shower. She showered the next day. All right, no, I as an adult, you should, you should be showering once go, a day. I'm Vince sorry, she didn't shower. She you may know have showered you know that what? morning. Honestly, in Europe, they don't shower every day. They, you, real, they legit don't. You go to the gym, you shower. You shower years, when you, you get home. Yes. In Zimbabwe, they don't shower every day either. <laughs> I'm just saying, like culturally, you people live in, a, in Ireland do not shower every day. You, they do not. Where are these people? Yeah. These people are in the United States. In shit, no, Iran. I'm just pointing every day. out that some people culturally they don't All shower right, well, every that, day. Then I'll say that to them too. Fucking and I would shower, like to know what he's doing to make her want to have sex with him. Like, hey, is he just baby. sticking his dick in her face? Exactly. Hey, baby. <laughs> he's I'm pressing it into her boss. back. The romantic. Nothing way. is hotter than having a boner stabbed into your back. Nothing works more for us. Hey, hey. right? You feel There's that? There's no better. Hey. You know what? Maybe play. she needs hey. to be romance. Like, why is she sitting on she's, the couch watching TV all the time? Shit. He's pressing his dick into her. Back. And why do you need to be romance? Fucking just jump on the dick. Come on. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, there's someone rang the bell. We all panicked. Uh, uh, We're uh, yelling uh, about dick. <laughs> it's definitely Chuck Nuts coming to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> we knew it was only a matter of time. I bought my nugget. It's always so much work with you girls. Fucking, oh, it is I need not. To be, I need it to is do, not I work this, with us. I need that. I need to oh my God. It's it. bullshit. Need this, need Fuck up. Total bullshit. What are you I, showing me? I just received a text from Assistant Skylar. Oh. She is reviewing a porn called Bear Bum Mountain. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Curious. I'm guessing it's pic- parodying. She wrote, thinking of you. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> and it's naked dudes holding their boners. Okay. See, that guy's not very well endowed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm Okay, here we go. <laughs> Attacking the penis. <laughs> we went right no. for the penis. I got upset. <laughs> we totally went. I doubt these guys are making lists about how many times they're turned down. Mm-hmm. Just like, am. Just like the You're ladies. You're making lists? I am. Barnyard blowjob. Why would you need to make lists? <laughs> Monster thick cocks. <laughs> He is way <laughs> too involved right now. All right, yeah. so uh, to end the show, I have a funny article. It has very little to do with sex, but our show really doesn't have to do with sex anymore. So, um, <laughs> because none of us so are it's having it. Yeah. So this, the title Ooh. is called "Rock Bottom Eating Habits: Forty Signs You've Given Up." <laughs> <laughs> I did think it was funny. Barnyard blowjobs. So, if John, sorry, I said that already. Yeah, I know. I just okay. As long as you agree, I didn't see it when you saw it. <laughs> the first. Being unable to make your own sandwiches. I'll tell you, I have hit that. That's Wait, where I am right being now. Being unable to what? Make your own sandwiches. I can't. I buy everything. This I can't is, put two pieces of bread. Oh, I can't do so it. So this is when you've hit rock bottom yes. just in general. You this just, isn't like a sexual thing no, in any way. Shape, it's just or. rock bottom. You 12-inch country cocks? You know yeah. you're bad. You okay. know like shit's gotten really Are bad. Are 12-inch it's country like, cocks it's, different than... It's kind of a bachelor. I think so. I think it's kind of like a baker's dozen. Two. It's like different from a regular dozen. Country cock is different from a... City cock. Okay. It's like summer tits. I'm not sure how. Okay. I'm not a gay man, but I'll find out. But like country cocks and like urban cocks. Well, cowboys different. are hot, right? Well, the advertisement, the advertisement, if you will, says 12-inch country cocks. Yeah. So that's like unshaven. Um, that's what I would that's where I would go with <laughs> Is that. Is that what you speculate? That's country cock. I, I would agree with that. It's like that. cabin bush. It's it a cabin yeah. bush. Right. Cabin bush, very full. It would be like yeah. feather, feather. Like when Callie used to go to Vermont for weeks, we, she'd come back and tell oh, us about how she's oh, cabin disgusting. bush and she didn't very shower. Full, thick, yeah. A thicket. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. She went zip lining like, and thick. The smell of her bush. <laughs> Wafted. Wafted. Yeah. yeah, like Through moths. The forest. Yeah. Moths living like in it. Vapor, and eggs vapor and... trail. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Eating a spoonful of breadcrumbs. I've done that. What? Eating? Really? What are you talking? What? What? what wait. What's topic? You <laughs> <laughs> when you've hit rock bottom. Yes. <laughs> what that, that? And we're back. Who does that? You've done that? Stacy mm-hmm. just stabbed herself with her <laughs> why do you have? Why do you have breadcrumbs? <laughs> to make things. Make what? Make cutlets. Meatballs. But you're not, uh, ma- you're not making them. I'm not making anything. Right. I just, just have them. And I'm like, you know what? I really don't want to make anything. Just stick a spoon in. <laughs> I've done that. I swear. Yeah. I am the laziest eater you will ever meet. You ever put it on someone's cock and suck it? No. You want to try it? No. <laughs> You never had bread. I'd like to see it all get like. <laughs> you never had bread and cock, cock before. <laughs> bread and cock. You never bread a cannoli. It <laughs> gets all like some, gets all stuck in your pee hole. Dip it in some egg white. Pack it in there. Brujol, I dip it in a little egg. <laughs> Come on, it's the weekend. Wrap it around. Wrap it around a little gabagol. 
Yeah. There you go. It's dip your cheat day. I have a little bread of cock. It's a cheat day. A little bread of cock today. I'll dip my <laughs> bowls in marinara sauce just to give you a taste of old of home. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> of old home. <laughs> I fucked up the line. Using the wrong utensils because you won't wash the dishes. Using the wrong utensils. So I've, using like a fork in your cereal. Like, I've done that. Like yeah. using a ladle to eat your ramen noodles. <laughs> and or, then using it on your vagina. And then wearing that ladle. <laughs> and then wearing <laughs> it to the beach. The, making a sea string out of it. <laughs> Eating queso with your fingers because you ran out of chips. I've Does done that. Mean that. Cheese? Sexy. Mm-hmm. Mean I've cheese. done it in a movie theater. You know, I thought <laughs> I thought I did it at a bowling alley once and got promptly scolded by like a passerby. Like your hands have been in those fucking bowling balls and you're fucking licking <laughs> cheese <laughs> off your fingers. In retrospect, I was like 14 years old, but I mean, still, I did, it was gross. just so good. I was I didn't give a shit about germs. I was just like, oh my god, it's cheese. But amazing. Think about it's all. Bowling. I mean, it's all true. It's, it's totally said, true. But, but nobody in a bowling alley should be talking. Talking about germs or like no, touching this, matter. touching no. that. I was scolded by you're, a complete you're wearing stranger. Somebody, you're wearing rented shoes exactly. and sticking your fingers wherever they go. Right, that's so true. But everyone knows that queso is a natural sanitizer. Yeah, cheese is an antibacterial. <laughs> Especially hot, bacterial. hot yeah. cheese. <laughs> yeah. Antibacterial. Yeah, not, not from under cheese. Everybody knows that. Hot cheese. Okay. Hot American cheese. A hot American cheese is where it's at. Drinking <laughs> black coffee, even though you hate black coffee, cure syphilis. I thought that every one of these, the that I would, you said rock bottom and I Because you don't me. have milk and you don't get you, you don't want to be bothered. You, you, <laughs> you just, just don't want to deal with it. Because you hate it. Let's see. I've done none of these. I'm disappointed in this list. Cut the molding part, moldy part off of food before eating it. I've never done that. Mm. I think it's because I'm OCD. I, I can't do any of these things. Yeah, I can't eat anything that has mold on it. Devouring peanut butter out of the jar. I do that daily. That. Every single day. <laughs> Every single That's two day. Out of three That's meals. bad. I know. I've just I've never done that. Eating before. cereal for a meal that isn't breakfast Get out all of the it. time. I love cereal. Cereal's like my favorite thing to eat. Drinking the watery remains of a fountain soda. Yeah. Oh, that I've done. I eat. I chew on the ice too. Using hot pasta straight from the pot to heat up the cold. <laughs> Sauce straight from the jar. What about fucking <laughs> it? Yep. And, and then, then fucking, fucking it. And, and then, then getting money it. out of it, which I never mm-hmm. did. All the money I lost. <laughs> Eating at a strip club, not during lunch special. Oh, that's disgusting. How old were you when somebody finally told you there was no semen fairy? <laughs> <laughs> you guys just you did just it last did. episode. <laughs> Was it last episode or this episode? Getting extra fast food to microwave later? You totally have done that. I've never done that. I'm surprised. Because it's disgusting reheated. Eating a fast food burger two days in a row? Oh, I've gone, yeah, going to the same fast food place two days in a row? Yeah, absolutely. Putting a half-finished beer in the fridge for later? Uh, I got one waiting for me at home. <laughs> Half. Eating, yeah. eating over the sink to conserve dishes? I could never do I've that. I've never done that either. No? You've never, like, been so hungry you just, like, ate over your counter? I just, like, uh, snap off a paper towel and use that as a plate. Yeah. Done that. Eating raw ramen? Oof. Oh. That's a little extreme. That's rough. That's a college uh, stereotype that college kids do that. I've never done I've never even eaten ramen. Having a meal at 7 Eleven? Have you seen? Have you seen? They're now marketing those. Triangles with the oh, cheese. Oh, I've seen that. Oh, the Doritos. Doritos loaded. And they were trying to give them away to me the other day. Try one. And I was like, the, no. Where, at 7 Eleven? Yeah. Dude, the shit that people eat. Oh. I love the fact that there are things being cooked at 7 Eleven and oh, people are buying well, them to eat. They're really people, cooked. I mean, yeah. They're well, like, kind of like on a rolling. Prepared. Heat lamp. Yeah. Like, not really cooked, but like. Warmed? They're trying, warmed. They're trying warmed. to uh, right? warm. yeah. They're trying to catch lightning in the bottle again with the Taco Bell Doritos, Los Locos Dorito tacos. But 7-Eleven has had quarter pound hot dogs rolling around forever. For, for, for Listen, for that, I, that look like a for shit. They look like a there. turd. Yeah. Like rolling around on them, they <laughs> look like a piece of poo. I can buy condoms there. I'm not buying my meal there. <laughs> I will buy condoms and coffee at 7-Eleven. <laughs> that is it. Would you, I am not buying it. That is my meal. one-stop shop. No. How, how about the suit? Sushi. Sushi's great. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen sushi at 7-Eleven. No, I mean, I don't know. They might have it there. I've tried stop <laughs> like and Like you've shop. never been in one. I, I don't know. I've never been in a 7-Eleven. Oh, what's a 7-Eleven? I've tried a uh, Wawa. Yes, maybe. Oh, Wawa. Oh, I love Wawa. <laughs> I've tried stop and shop sushi. Yeah, so I've tried that. Not bad. Not horrible. Okay. Don't don't look at me down your nose, King, just because you get it freshly made by Japanese people. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, is there, is there any, is there any I've shut more? everything down. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. We can't go back into the cave again? <laughs> <laughs> the cove? The cove cave? The yeah. meat cove. No more meat cove? Are we done with this Amazon.com. Just well, toys.net. What were we talking about? 
Gameplay.com. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, what, what happened? Amazon.com. Did we click call, on the Amazon.com button on the Why You Suck in Bed page and get your <laughs> items. Twistedtoys.net. Put in the code SUCK for 20% off sex go, toys and support to page. Cove. Page's company. I just want to go back into the meat Tweaked cove. Tweakedaudio.com. Put in the code SUCK for 33% off. And you can put in your earbuds and go into the meat cove. <laughs> get my Gameplay.com forward slash SUCK. SUCK. Free, how many? 30 day 30 trial. day trial. Netflix or video games. Anything else? Did we talk to Frank? <laughs> when are we going to call Frank? <laughs> We're going to call Frank next time. And we need to do it before five. Before five. five. Is it Monday Arizona through Friday? Time. Yeah, before yeah. five. Arizona time. Arizona so that's seven time. o'clock our time. Right. So it's Monday through Friday. So we could have done it in the first episode. Let's probably. do that. And they'll probably crash and burn. And then we can watch the movie. Okay. It's oh. a good idea. What did you call him? Not Caligula. Frank. What did you call him? Caligula? <laughs> Caligula. <laughs> Caligula. See you next Tuesday. Bye, I love you. <laughs> What you want from me You taste all of the grizzle From the bones I need To stand up to you To live up to fools It's too troubling Can't take what you like from me Can't take all of the vision That your money leaves Don't be careless now Just a pretty bait And cool covering You can't hide Sorry face in this love that felt is all good for me.